Welcome to another video uh, entitled Live Cell Therapy, the Past, the Present and the Future. Cell therapy is the only process in the world that has been proven safe and effective in slowing down the aging process and helping you to dramatically regain your health, vitality and physical power. What is uh, cell therapy? Uh, it's actually an implantation by the injection of human, whether it's from the self, autologous, or from another human, allergenic, or from animal origin or xenogenic uh, source of fetal or juvenile suspensions of cells or tissues in physiological solution. And recently, with the advancement of technology, the oral ingestion of free strike placenta live cells. Well, cell therapy is a bit like... Uh, organ transplant. I mean, if you have a, a liver uh, that is failing, you may get a donor from another person to give you a liver, then you have a liver transplant. And uh, however, uh, cell therapy is like mini transplantations. For example, uh, you have a bit of a, a liver problem, you get cell therapy for your liver, and thereby you get mini liver transplantations. But as you know, as you age, there are many multiple organ failures and it's not possible to physically transplant multiple organs, whereby cell therapy gives you that possibility of multi-organ uh, transplant by mini transplantations and cell replacement. Well, cell therapy, well, we look at the past. The ancient Greeks, the Petrus of Eva, another ancient medical text Describe preparations manufactured from animal origins, animal organs to be given therapeutically. Achilles of the ancient Greeks. Achilles was part of the Achaean force that took to Troy to win back Helen for Agamemnon's brother Menelaus. And he uh, consumed the bone marrow of lions to enhance his own strength, uh, as has been reported. Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, uh, used the corresponding healthy organs of animals for relief of disease organs in humans. The famous Kama Sutra, early references uh, being found in the Kama Sutra, an ancient East Indian Sanskrit text uh, in which a decoction of buck uh, testes and milk was prescribed as giving strength uh, a strength giving remedy. Ancient Chinese, according to uh, traditional Chinese medicine, the center is considered as a powerful and a sacred medicine, full of life and full of force. The use of the center during the uh, postpartum uh, period to aid in the recovery of, uh, from childbirth is well documented. Women can take this dose up to three times a day and continue until they, they no longer feel the need for such therapy. And the remaining placenta can be saved and used homeopathically for those times when the child undergoes separation from, from, from the mother uh, in, 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 and later on in the uh, postpartum period. The Huangdi Neiji is the most important ancient Chinese medicinal text and lists placenta therapy as a healing and rejuvenating agent. Papyrus scrolls found in Thailand, uh, unearthed in Thailand, dating from about 100 years before Christ, suggested the use of placenta for rejuvenation. Well, let's look at cell therapy uh, in the present. As you know, uh, modern cell therapy, uh, there's a popular clinic in Switzerland, Clinic La Pierie, uh, for the rich and famous, it's very expensive, established since 1931. And even in your own country, there are many uh, stem cell clinics run by doctors. Uh, you can get allergenic um, donations from, uh, of stem cells from another human, or you can get uh, stem cells from your own body, from your own bone marrow, or from your own fat adipose tissues, whereby they're cultured and multiplied and, give, and given back to yourself for therapy. And there are numerous cord blood banking uh, facilities that have mushroomed and blossomed throughout the world. 
placenta therapy. It keeps you young, fit, energetic, and it makes your skin soft and smooth, repairs pimples and other impurities, and gives you an improved sex life for both male and female. And it's been used for decades without uh, any side effects, and it has amazing uh, efficacy and benefits. Why placenta? Placenta contains a lot of transcription factors. Uh, transcription factors are uh, proteins and peptides that can convert adult uh, cells to pluripotent stem cells. It has epidermal growth factors, important for wound healing, skin rejuvenation, IGF-like peptides, chemokines, cytokines, other bioactive peptides, and, bio and bioenzymes for healthy uh, body maintenance and body rejuvenation and metabolism. Benefits of uh, placenta lifestyle therapy includes finer skin texture and even tone complexion, smoother, softer, and velvety skin, lightens the appearance of freckles and pigmentation, hydrating skin, erasing lines and wrinkles, enhanced skin renewal process, and reduce the appearance of scars. It regulates the natural sebum production and reduce open pores, firming up of sagging bust in women, regenerate, regenerates cells, tissues, and organs, and it boosts your body immune, immune system. And it's vast improvement in alertness and mental functions. Alternatives made possible by modern technology. Obviously, uh, there are many expensive clinics that starts at 20, 30,000 US a pop. Uh, but now there are oral alternatives like lifestyle therapy or placenta extract uh, brought possible by freeze drying technology, emulsification technology for better absorption and pericrotic technology. The future. Well, there's much uh, research into the applications of embryonic and fetal stem cells, uh, isolation of more specific factors in life cells like transcription factors, uh, certain chemokines, uh, certain growth factors. And these specific factors are now undergoing clinical trials. They're being patented and they're being uh, made in a com uh, in commercial scale uh, for, co uh, for commercial uh, production and usage and commerci commercial sales. Future applications of life cell therapy, uh, placenta life cell therapy, blood and tissue cancers, nervous tissue degeneration, diabetes, primary immune deficiency, bone and cartilage regeneration, heart diseases, Alzheimer's diseases, and certain degenerative diseases like Crohn's disease and for wound healing. Well, there are many research uh, today on stem cells, but as embryonic, fetal or adult and its application. And umbilical stem cell or cord blood banks are flourishing. Thank you for listening.